Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing? I'm coming to you from Oak Grove, uh, Missouri. Yeah, I'm sitting at the uh, Petro. I want to do a quick video on the upcoming uh, trucker convoy protest in the United States and uh, let y'all know how I feel about it. Of course, this is uh, something that's uh, coming from the United uh, go <laughs> coming from Canada, an idea that the trucker convoy protest that's happening in Canada, which I'm sure everybody's heard about. I want to let you guys all know, as far as Canada goes, I 100% support the convoy and protest that's going on up there. Uh, the only exception to that is any road blocking or anything like that, I can't support. Uh, I've never supported shutting down traffic or blocking roads. I never support it. When Democrats do it, I don't support when Republicans do it, and I definitely don't support when truck drivers do it. Um, it's very dangerous, and it hurts innocent people. I mean, when you block roads and cause, you know, a disruption in traffic, there are innocent people who end up getting harmed, especially since emergency vehicles and so forth can't get to those that need it, you know. So... I'm totally against any type of uh, blocking the highways and stuff like that. But as far as the protest goes and the convoy goes, that was great. And it's still going on and it's still great. But I understand that Canada is a much different government than the United States is. Uh, in Canada you've got the federal government uh, which controls most everything up there setting the laws the rules the regulations and stuff like that and the uh, mandating vac vaccines and uh, uh, mask wearing is nationwide up there uh, unlike here in the United States and therefore affects everyone and me personally I mean if you want to get vaccination that's up to you you know or if you don't want to that's up to you I believe that people own their own bodies and I'm not pro or uh, against vaccinations um, to me it's up to every individual to determine what's best for their bodies and I'm not the person to tell people what they should or should not do to their own bodies um, I mean the type I mean let me just put it right out there. I'm vaccinated, okay? So, you know, uh, that just goes to prove that I am not anti-vaccination. Um, so, plus I was in the military. <laughs> I've got more vaccinations than most Americans. Now, how about the United States protest? I can't support it. I cannot support the convoy, I cannot support the uh, protest that is about to take place this weekend here in the United States. And the reason why is because, what is it, what is the protest for, what is it, you know, uh, what are we looking to achieve, what's going to end the protest, you know, what, what is expected. Unfortunately, here in the United States, every truck driver protest I've ever heard has always been for bigger government you know the truck drivers need are demanding that government do this government do that government do this how about we get the government out you know and there is several things we could be protesting here in the United States lots of stuff I mean the government's way too big um, and protesting for freedom um, that's too vague. What's freedom to you is not freedom to me. You know. So, need a little bit more on what the truck drivers are wanting in this protest. And what does the government need to do to end the protest. Um, 
As far as the vaccinations and mandates and the shutdowns that happened here in the United States, that wasn't the federal government. It wasn't. Uh, Trump didn't shut down the economy. Biden didn't shut down the economy. Um, that has been your governor. See, here in the United States, we have a different type of government than probably every other type of uh, government in the world. Okay. Uh, here in the United States, it is the states that have actually more power than the federal government, or are they supposed to. Um, and it's the states that have been mandating vaccines, masks, and all that stuff. Not the federal government. And therefore, the protests should be happening in the states that have been messing things up. As far as the economy, uh, shutting down businesses and messing up the uh, restaurants and stuff like that, it's your governor. That is who to blame, your governor. If your governor did that and you re-elected that governor, you're to blame. It, it, I mean, simple as that. So we don't need a convoy when it comes to, you know... Uh, stopping mandates and stuff like that going across the United States. How about the truck drivers say, you know what, we're not going to do business in these states that have these mandates. And as far as what happened in the past, you know, that happened in the past. Um, hold your elected leaders responsible. You know, your your state leaders, your city leaders, and so forth. Hold them responsible. Uh, we don't need to mess up things more nationwide than that's already messed up. And from what I see, people are pretty much uh, speaking out already as far as, you know, these mass mandates and stuff. So far, every place I've been to, you know, in the cities where they had the mask, have the mask mandates, <laughs> I haven't seen people wearing masks in the stores and stuff like that, and I haven't seen the stores uh, enforcing it. So, I mean, I, I don't see what the trucker protest is, you know, Solving other than just saying, you know, hey, you know, we don't like what the government has been doing ever since COVID has been around. Uh, I don't see what the protesters, the protesters are expecting, you know. I don't see what they're wanting done to, you know, end the protest. I mean, do you want apology? Yeah, I don't see the government doing that. Um, so therefore, you know, that's my real short and sweet uh, reason on why I can't support the protest. I won't be doing it. Uh, I'm going to be running as normal. Uh, <laughs> maybe the rates will go up on the freight this weekend, huh? Um, Y'all take care. Feel free to comment uh, wherever you see this video posted and uh, let me know what you think. You know, am I wrong? Is this protest actually about more? Or is there something specific that I have not seen online? Um, so far, no one's answered me. I have asked a question on, se on certain social media where I've seen uh, the trucker protest uh, posted. So far, no one's really told me other than it's for freedom. You know, like I said, what's freedom to you? You know? Uh, Republicans and Democrats both are not for freedom, so. Y'all take care. Love ya. Bye.